Hi students, today we go to the last topic, that's a 5.7 electromagnetic wave. Okay, first one we go to see what means of electromagnetic wave. Electromagnetic wave, they are made of the electric field and also the magnetic field. So that means they combine, after that the name become electromagnetic. Okay, after that, these two physical quantities, they will oscillate perpendicular to the each other. So here, they can show about the diagram. Okay, the blue color is represented by the electric field. Then the red color is a magnetic field. So that means when they just move, they are perpendicular to the each other. Then the direction should be the same or go to the right hand side. Okay, now we're going to see the properties of the uh, electromagnetic wave. We can call it as an EM wave. Okay, first one, they are the transverse wave. Remember the transverse? They must be perpendicular to the wave travel. Okay, number two, they do not need the medium to travel. So that means they can go through the vacuum. Okay, number three, they have the speed in the vacuum. That's the same like the speed of light. Three times 10 power of eight. Okay, and also move with the lower speed in any medium. So the same like the normal light. When go through the medium, they become slow down. Okay, last one, they can show the phenomena, what we learned before. There's a reflection, refraction, diffraction, and also interference. Okay, okay this one is a electromagnetic spectrum. So because of the same characteristic, so that's why they put inside one of the spectrum. Okay, but this one spectrum that we arrange followed by the wavelength and also frequency. So the first part, can you see the wavelength become bigger? Okay, when it just go through the right hand side, they become smaller. Okay, the amplitude almost the same, just the wavelength and frequency that will changes. Remember what we learned before, V equal F lambda, so means uh, lambda and also frequency must be inversely proportional. Okay, so from here we starting when you see the radio wave. This one, first one is the radio. Radio wave, the wavelength should be the longest, means the frequency becomes small. Okay, the last one is a gamma ray. Gamma ray, the frequency is very, very high. So that's why the lambda become very small. Okay, so from here you can see the energy carried by the electromagnetic wave is directly proportional to the frequency. So from here we can say about the gamma ray and also the x-ray, they carry a large amount of the energy. So from the bar here you can see the center. Center is one of the part you can see the color. That one is a visible light. So that means the whole spectrum, what we can see, we just can see is a visible light. Okay, now I want to introduce uh, one by one for the spectrum. Okay, first one for the lowest of the frequency, highest wavelength is a radio wave. Okay, then followed by the microwave. Then the next one should be the infrared. Okay, then this part I circle mean this part that means there's a visible light. There's a light of the rainbow that we can see. Okay, remember the rainbow, we start with red color, is it? So that means this part, they're near with the infrared. Okay, the last one for the rainbow color should be the violet. So they're near with the ultraviolet. So this part, we call it as a visible light. Okay, after the ultraviolet, then we go to x-ray. The last one should be the gamma ray. Okay, what you need to do, you need to memorize. Memorize the, uh, the arrangement how we know which part uh, should be the radio, which part should be the x-ray. So from here, you can relate it by a, uh, one story. Okay, we can say like this. Okay, example, nowadays the student, okay, they're using um, radio. Okay, maybe they're on the radio in the house. Okay, after that, they will feel hungry. Okay, they will cook. Okay, cook because lazy, they want to cook by using the stove. They go to cook by using the microwave. Okay, when you take more food from the microwave, you know that's a dangerous. Okay, never mind. Then you continue. After take the food, then go and you can see the TV. Lah. When you go to see the TV, they must using the remove control. So remove control is an infrared. Okay, so they find it, the room is too dark. So they're on the light. So this one is a 
visible light. So this one is a one day story finish. Okay, the next day they go to school. Go to school, they sure got any PJ uh, period. Then they go to play. Okay, when they go to play until the afternoon, around 2 o'clock or 12 o'clock, so that one they got ultraviolet. Okay, so that means the student, they will get the more ultraviolet. Okay, after that, they feel the skin become pain. Then what to do when you see the doctor? When they go to see the doctor, that means the doctor say you need to x-ray. lah. You see what happened for your skin. Okay, finally, the doctor say, sorry, I get it. You get the cancer. So you need to do the cancer treatment by using gamma ray. So you can memorize by using the story I told you just now. Okay, so we continue to the next one. Okay, this one is a visible light. So just now I told you visible light is a follow the rainbow color light. So we start with the red color. You see the red color, the wavelength should be the longest. Then the ultraviolet, the last one, okay? The near with the ultraviolet, so they become purple color. So this part, you find it, the wavelength become smallest, okay? So this one is a visible light. Okay, now we need to see the application for every electromagnetic wave in the daily life. Okay, first one, we're going to see the radio wave. Okay, where the sources they come? They're from the electron oscillating in the area and radio TV transmitter. Okay, this one, they use as a long distance radio communication. So that means the radio wave, they normally they're using for the car radio. You want to get the FM, is it? So this one is a radio communication. Okay, number two is a, ra a local radio and TV broadcasting. Okay, some TV, the antenna, they want to receive the channel, then we're using radio wave. After that, they got wireless communication, your Wi-Fi. Okay, they're using a Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, ZB, and also the Z wave. Okay, last one, millimeter. That's a wave machine to scan the body of the passenger at the airport. Okay, so some walkie-talkie, they're also using the radio wave. Okay, the next one is a microwave. Okay, microwave the sources from the radar transmitter and also microwave oven. So I think you listened before for the microwave. Okay, that's the international communication through use of the satellite. Okay, normally for the satellite, we're using microwave. Okay, number two, they're also using for the mobile phone. Okay, communication between the electronics, same thing, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee and also Z-Wave. Okay, then the detection of the plane radar and also speed trap. Okay, normally when the question just say about the radar system in the A for the airplane, then we're using is a microwave. Okay, the last one is microwave cooking by using the microwave oven. Okay, let's see the next one, infrared. Okay, infrared the sources from the hot object such as the flame and also sun. Okay, what's the application there for cooking? Normally for the oven, for the grill, and also toaster. Okay, the color is a red color. Eh? Okay, for the night vision. Okay, this one is an example for the night vision. This one also uh, also same. Okay, infrared the camera and also the infrared for the binocular. Okay, drying paint on the car. Drying paint on the car means they're using the infrared high heat to make the uh, paint on the car is faster to be heat up. After that, it will stick on the car. Okay, treatment of the muscle pain. Okay, they're using the infrared for treatment. Okay, remove control device for the TV and also DVD player. So, this all using the infrared. Okay, the next one is a visible light. There's a light that we can see. The sources from the flame, lamp and also sun. Okay, enable the living thing to see. Okay, if you don't have light, we cannot see. Okay, number two is photography. Photography means your photograph, you got fresh, is it? Then you see the light. Then we got photosynthesis, that's from the sun. Normally for the green plant. Okay, laser light, they use to cutting the metal, measurement of the land, and also sending the information through the optical fiber. So this all thing is related with the visible light. Okay, then we go to UV light. UV light normally is a uh, purple color. You can say violet light. The hardens to the filling material. So this one is a diagram. Okay, number two, they detect the authentic 
city currency note so they want to check is it the document is it correct or not there's a fake note or not okay treatment of the jodis in the baby so this is an example okay then we got purify of the cation of drinking water so this one is an example for drinking water they're using the uv light okay to purify the all the cation in the water okay sterilizing for the surgical instrument okay this one all the instrument they're using for the doctor surgical they must sterilize first they need to scan first and also the food okay next one insect trap i think you see before the insect trap the purple color they want to trap the fly okay this one is an insect trap then the second last, there's an x-ray. X-ray, the source is from the x-ray tube. So x-ray tube was an application that detect the fracture or you say the broken bone. Okay, and also as examine the internal organ. So that means this one is an x-ray. This one is for your body, this one is for your teeth. Okay, they also can be checking the welding of connection. The welding pipe underground, they're using the x-ray to checking. Or you say the concrete wall. They're also using the x-ray. Okay, the next one always will ask in your question should be the baggage scanning at the airport. The luggage. What they're using to scan? They're using x-ray to scan. Okay, last one to determine the authenticity of the painting. Okay, last one is a gamma ray. Gamma ray from the radioactive substances. Okay, first one, they kill the cancer. Okay, in the radiotherapy, okay, the sterilization of the surgical and also medical equipment. Okay, they use in the food. Okay, you can see this one logo. This one logo means the food irradiation. So that means they can stay for longer time. Okay, now we need to see the effect. When you expose more about the electromagnetic spectrum wave, what happened? For the radio wave, they will harm your body cell then you feel about the headache example you use more about the hand food you find it become headache okay number two is a microwave okay microwave normally the microwave oven that means the object the food should be the hot one so they will cause about internal heating the body tissue when they are enter our body if you long exposed to the micro uh, the mobile phone that can cause about the brain tumor and also the inner ear complication in the children so this one is an example when you expose the microwave okay number three is an infrared okay if you over to exposure to the infrared mean they can cause about the skin burn okay uv light ultraviolet damage to the surface of the cell that including the skin cancer so that means when starting is a burn first, then if you're more serious, that means they will get caused about the skin cancer. Then and also brightness. Okay, E is an X-ray and also gamma ray. The both effects should be the same. First one, they damage the cell. Cancer and also mutation. Okay, they mutate the cell maybe uh um, sorry. The mutate the cell is made in the abnormal glow of the cancer cell. So normally it's one become two, two become four, is it? Maybe you're abnormal, you glow more already. So the pregnant women who are exposed to the x-ray and also the radiation too frequently, they may cause about the abnormality in the newborn babies. So that's why normally you go to x-ray, they will ask about you. Uh, some uh, married already, they will ask if you got pregnant or not. Okay, we see the formative practice from your textbook. Okay, first one, the question they show about the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, now they want you to fill in the blank. Okay, A is what? I told you already, if you start A, okay, we come back go and see the radio wave. Radio wave is a starting. So that means this one is listen the radio. After listen radio, you want to eat, is it? Eat is what? There's a microwave. Okay, after that, you want to see the TV using remote control, there's an infrared. Okay, after that, you find it, there's a not bright enough. Then you're on the light. That one is a visible light. Okay, after that, you go to school, you go to field, you go and play, you say, until afternoon. So you find it, the, they got the sun strike to your skin. So that one is a UV light. 
After that, you find the pain, you can see the doctor, doctor call you to x-ray. Last one, that means you need to treatment from the gamma ray. Okay, let's see the answer. C is a, uh, sorry, we go to A first. A is a gamma ray. Then continue, B should be the UV light. And the C is a microwave. Okay, now the arrange of the electromagnetic wave according to increasing frequency. That means from the small become bigger. So the meaning low frequency until high frequency. The low one should be the radio, followed by micro, infra, x-ray, and gamma. Okay, then we check it. Okay, radio, micro, infra, x-ray, and also gamma. Okay, let's see the next question, calculation. Okay, the blue light with the wavelength 420. Okay, can you see the N? N is a nano. Huh? Nano is 10 stand, uh, times 10 power of negative 9. They move with the speed. Okay, speed of light. Now the speed of the blue light, they reduce. That means now the blue light becomes slow down. Okay, when they're passing through the liquid. So that means they go in the medium, they become slow down. What is the wavelength of the blue light in the liquid? So the first one, we need to know what should be constant. Constant is the frequency. Okay, because you're using the blue light. Okay, now we go and drop down the info. Okay, first one, I label wavelength 1. Wavelength 1 is a 420 times 10 power negative 9 nano. Then the speed for number 1 is 3 times 10 power of 8. Okay, when they go through the liquid, the wavelength, we do know. The question wants you to find it. The speed, they give you 2.25 times 10 power of 8. So that means we need to find out what's the frequency first. Okay, so from here, I'm using the formula V equal F lambda. I need to find what's the F. Okay, so from here, I show you. Okay, calculation, so I get it. The F is 7.14 times 10 power of 14 hertz. So I need to apply this one F to the second case. Second case, also using V equal F lambda. Okay, now the V is provided, 2.25. Okay, then after that, the F, I also get it, then I do know the lambda. So you want to find the lambda, you must take the V over F. So I put all the thing in, then I press my calculator, then I get my answer. Okay, the answer here is 315 nanometer. If you do want to write the nano, you can write about the okay, standard form, that means times 10 power of how many. Okay, so this one is uh, what I want to present for the 5.7, just one of the short topics only. So hope you understand. Okay, thank you for your watching. Mm -hmm.